I have one of the beautiful fairy stamps from Lindy Stamp Gang here and I'm going to make a card using this as the central image. I'm going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black on this because I'm going to colour it in with Copic markers. Now I need to mask off the fairy so I'm just making a quick mask out of paper. You need to cut slightly inside the stamped lines so that when you mask off your image you don't end up with a shadow. Place the mask over the image. If you're going to be sponging I would use something like the Eclipse Tape from Judikins which is actually made for this. Now I'm going to use this um, fern stamp also from Lindy Stamp Gang. I'm using three colours of uh, Marby Matchables ink pad. I'm going to be using the stamp positioner for this, so I'm just going to stamp one image in one of the darker greens onto the stamp positioning plate. So I want my fairy to be standing on the leaf. I've stamped on a piece of clear acetate, and now I can line up exactly where I want the leaf. So I remove the piece of acetate, place the stamp against the edge. So when I'm done and I remove the mask, my fairy will be standing on that fern. Keep repeating this until you have as many fern leaves as you want. I've started with the darkest colour first, and then I'll go and add a few more leaves with the lighter colours of the Marby pads. Continue stamping fern leaves along the edges of the card until you have a semi kind of frame. I've stuck some Eclipse tape to a piece of scrap paper so I can run it through my circle punch. I'll be using this to create a moon for my scene. Stick the moon over the top of the masked fairy. I'm going to add a little bit of the glitz spritz and this is the desert moon endless sky. Lightly spray the glitz spritz over the masked images. Using either a cotton bud or your finger Wipe the glitz spritz over the base of the card a little and move it onto the fern edges. You can add a little bit more of the glitz spritz at this point if you'd like to darken the background even more. Once dry, remove the masks. So this is the beginning of my scene. This is the base before I've actually coloured the fairy. So all I've done at the moment is I've stamped the fairy. I've added some of these ferns. I've put a little piece of circular masking tape, um, it's called Eclipse Tape, the one I use over the top here for the moon, and then I've spritzed over the top of that with some glitz spritz, desert moon, endless sky. Sponge Adirondack inks around the edges of the card, I've used meadow and stone washed. Colour the fairy with Copic markers. Now I'm just adding a tiny little bit of the cathedral pines from the lid here to the dress. Now this won't change the colour underneath, it'll just add a little bit of shimmer. Now I'm just adding the tiniest little bit on the tip of my brush here. Because I really don't want to colour the image at all, I just want to uh, give it a bit of sparkle. I finished my um, Moonlight Fairy card using the stamps from Lindy's Stamp Gang. What I've done is I've used a few other things from Lindy's Stamp Gang. May as well stick to the theme. I've used these lovely chipboard fern shapes. They're called Fabulous Filigrees. And the little fern was really easy to trim down one side, so I could use both the left side and the right side on the card just to accent each edge. I've added a little bit of stickles, um, glitter glue, just on the edge of the leaves after I've painted it. And then I've gone over the top with glossy accents just to protect it. I've added this lovely brass charm that's also from Lindy's Stamp Gang. Really lovely quality. I've accented it with a little gem down here. And put a little bit of the same stickles on the edge of the leaves. I've used my Adirondack pads in Stonewash and Meadow. Just to go over the areas that I stamped before and add a little bit more colour because I really wanted this to be a nighttime scene. I've used liquid pearls in white opal here to colour in the moon, and of course, I've used my Copic pens to colour in the fairy. 
Now I'm just going to flip this towards the light so that you can see. There we are, the foils on the wings. And that's actually rainbow pearls foils. So when you see it under normal light, not the harsh lights I've got on at the moment, you get this beautiful rainbow effect on the wings. Now all of this glimmery stuff you can see back here is the glitz spritz that I sprayed on. It's given that whole background a really lovely glittery effect. And where I've added the Adirondack up here, it still has the glimmer underneath. So it's just a deeper looking glimmer. The stars and white highlights have been added using a Sharpie paint pen. If you'd like to know what colours of Copics I've used, you can find all of those details on my blog. I list all of the products individually so that you can find exactly what I've used. And I'll list all of my Copic colours there as well. So you can see that little bit of shimmer on the fern leaves there. You can see that magical micas on the dress, giving it just that hint of shimmer. And then to stamp this with, I saw that they had released some of the Stazons in metallic. I have to say that's the nicest gold pad I have ever used. It is so bright, the gold is so true, it's really crisp, and it covered just so, as you can see, really, really well. So I hope you like my Moonlight Fairy using Lindy's Stamp Gang products. Don't forget, if you'd like some information on the exact colours or items I've used, you can find those details on my blog.